So I need some assurance that this is safe. Outside the state capitol building in Alabama, protesters have already gathered, hoping for a last-minute reprieve. At the Holman Correctional Facility, Kenneth Eugene Smith is scheduled to be killed by nitrogen in a 30-hour time period from today. The U.S. state has authorized a plan to suffocate Mr. Smith by strapping an airtight mask over his face and forcing him to inhale pure nitrogen. That, in turn, would starve his body of oxygen. Alabama's Solicitor General said this is the most painless and humane method of execution known to man. But this has been denounced by some medical professionals who warn it could cause a range of catastrophic mishaps. And the United Nations is concerned too. They said it could amount to torture and have called for a halt. Veterinary authorities in the US and Europe advise against nitrogen hypoxia, as it's known for most mammals. This isn't even the first time that Alabama authorities have tried to execute Kenneth Smith, who was convicted for the 1988 murder of Elizabeth Sennett. They attempted to kill him by lethal injection, but had to abandon that after they couldn't find a vein. He said that's left him with post-traumatic stress, and he's frightened about how his next execution will go. With the eyes of the world on Alabama, one of the main questions being asked about this is why? Well, Alabama has identified an alternate method of execution, I think chiefly because it has had great difficulty using the most commonly form of execution, which is lethal injection. Uh, Alabama in the summer of 2022 botched three executions in a row, including uh, one that was uh, scheduled for Mr. Smith himself. So this is his second time in the execution chamber. And this alternate method of nitrogen, what do we know about it and what do we know about its purpose? Well, the, what we know about it is what Alabama has chosen to share with us, and they have kept many of the details of the protocol secret. But the broad outlines are that a face mask will be fitted over Mr. Smith's nose and mouth, and he will be forced to breathe pure nitrogen gas. That will eventually result in organ failure and his death. Now, that is the theory behind use of this method, but it has never been used before, so really no one knows what's going to happen. The Alabama Solicitor General said that this is the most painless and humane way to um, execute someone. What do you think of that statement? Well, I'm curious about how he knows that. I mean, the medical experts and the physicians that have looked at this and scientists all have a number of concerns about how this will be used. For example, if that mask fitted over Mr. Smith's nose and mouth, if it becomes dislodged for any reason, that will affect the flow and the amount of gas, and that could prolong his death and his suffering. Uh, and there are other concerns about the safety of people in the chamber themselves. There, there's a religious advisor that will be present with him and prison guards who may be affected by the nitrogen gas. Now, use of nitrogen gas is not permitted by veterinary associations. Uh, they understand that use of the gas could cause panic in animals and it, it would be a cruel way to euthanize them. So it's very bewildering how Alabama has settled on this particular procedure. And what about pharmaceutical companies as well? Have they been worried about the use of their drugs in um, executions like this? Well, that's right. Um, pharmaceutical companies, when they learned their drugs were being used in executions in the United States, many of them responded by withdrawing their drugs from the market or refusing to sell them to prisons. Only five states have carried out capital punishment in the last year. So what does that say about American attitudes towards the death penalty in general? Yes. Well, you know, what is happening in Alabama is not reflective of what is happening in the United States. The majority of the states in the United States have chosen not to use the death penalty. Uh, there are not executions or new death sentences. The use is really uh, isolated in just a handful of states, and Alabama has identified this procedure um, on its own initiative and for its own reasons, but I do not think it, there are any broad conclusions that could, should be drawn uh, about how the American public feels about this. And Robin, just finally, if it goes ahead and works, what could happen next? Well, just because, and I hope sincerely for Mr. Smith's sake, that all of our fears um, are, do not result in a gruesome death for him. Um, if, he, if he is successfully executed with this drug, 
um, and using this protocol, that does not mean that the next execution using the same protocol would go the same way. There are so many risks and so many uh, inherent uh, problems with this protocol. I don't think other states will want to take on the same kind of risks that Alabama is using is doing by using this protocol. So I would hope that this might be the last time we see the use of nitrogen gas. Robin Mayer, thank you very much for your time indeed. Thank you.